Hello dears, how are you? First of all, I wish you good health and beautiful family life. And start this session. I am very happy to share this session regarding motion animation implementation on swipe and on click on same view using motion layout. And we can implement multiple transitions in one motion scene. Completely this practical based on Android Studio 4.0. So let's look at the final output. If we drag the image filter view or swipe the view, then you can increase the font. And if you click on it, enlarge the image. So it is a basic practical to implement on swipe and on click on same view. So I'm very happy to share this practical. So if you desire such output, then be with me. If you do not want such an output, then keep coding, be happy in your life. So let's start. And as per the Android guideline, upgrade your Android Studio to 4.0 version. And let's start motion animation on swipe and on click on same view using motion layout with multiple transitions in one motion scene. So create one new project with empty activity inside Android Studio 4.0. And this is OTS means one time step. If you want such a thing that uh, in motion animation, then you need to up upgrade constant layout 2.0.0. And if you want to implement material designs and implement material dependency. So after that, we have this convert to motion layout option inside our activity underscore main dot XML file. So let's start go to file new then new project click on empty activity click on next and give the name demo underscore whatever the name you want to give so just high type both means one swipe and on click both so our stuff is ready likewise simply we go to activity underscore main dot xml if we click it over here there is no option to convert to motion layout because by default it is 1.1.3 so just uh, see this one so it is by default 1.1.3 constraint layout. So just I remove this one and implement with 2.0.0 constraint layout with beta 6 version upgrade as per the latest availability and material library. Make sure your internet connection is on. After the completion of this syncing file, our project is capable to implement constraint layout and material design both. So move forward after this OTS means one time step. Another thing is optional if you want no action bar then you can implement and you desire the color you can change this one so just time minimize this one okay and just go to res go to values and styles i will change it to material components and with no action bar okay and i also want to change color so i am preferable my color is black I will set it by this way so it is optional step is also completed so if uh, by default it is convert to motion layout is now available so we are going to move to step number one design your main screen I am going to design with one text view and one image filter view it's a new view inside Android Studio 4.0 constraint layout 2.0.0 so just I am going to this way the first is text view so just i am making the id with at the rate plus id and tv underscore name so width will be i want to match parent make it and height will be match parent okay uh, whatever you want to write you can write i want to write sophia y okay so bottom to bottom of parent i delete this one this line and another thing i will maintain it with gravity so i keep the gravity top and if you want another one then center horizontal with pipe sign so another thing is text size so text size will be 15 sp and another thing is text color okay i want to make the text color with white because i want to make the background black so that's why okay so everything is okay i just am going to check 
this one if it is not updated go to build and clean the project sure your updated output on the screen so see this one okay it is okay from my side but i want certain padding also 10 dp and over here margin top i want to maintain margin top okay so 20 dp you can first i will check it out with 10 dp i will change it to 20 dp okay so final thing is here so everything is okay with this one and one more view i want to take it is new view it's a image filter view okay inside android x you can get this view so first i will check that width with 100 dp and uh, height and width will be 100 dp i know that i will change it with other attributes and give the id first so add the plus id and i am giving the id with image photo so if you have photo then you can implement on your drawable folder so i have photo so just i copy this one and paste it over here so this is the photo i am going to paste it inside drawable folder so photo.jpg is here so just i paste it so just to give the source of photo and give the some other attributes likewise i want to set bottom to bottom of parent and left to left of parent so very easy i have doing this one but if you want your photographs with black and white or gray scale it's a saturation equals to zero so everything is written and i think our main screen is ready so with the setting as per our desire our main screen is ready so step number one is over so step number two is convert to motion layout so just i'm going to convert to motion layout what will be the effect for this one after that xml folder will be created automatically so just i'm going to design and convert to motion layout okay so this folder is automatically made xml activity underscore main underscore scene dot xml so just move forward after step number two to step number three we need to design start and end so let's look with this one it is a starting screen it is a ending screen so just implement this one so go to design purpose start screen is ready just we need to set end screen click on this one img photo and delete this one left to left off inside that i will make it with right to right off parent so just i am making this one right to right off parent and for this purpose only just i am changing the padding over here inside the end screen just i will make it 20 dp so this is the padding of 20 dp i want to develop setting more code so i going to xml activity underscore main scene dot xml then just first i close this constraint and inside that just i am going to write custom attribute so first i close this one and write the attribute name attribute name will be saturation and value will be plot value will be one so it will be look color values what are the values inside color layout and same thing i want to increase the font inside this one so first i enclose this constraint and custom attribute first i close this one custom attribute name will be then give the name will be text size and second i want dimension so custom dimension will be 30 sp so it is good for us so to increase the font size so just i copy this one Control c and paste it inside start so just i paste this one so at the starting level it is zero and and i make it left to left of parent okay and over here everything is okay just i wish to check or alter the 15 sp at the starting position so one is starting and another is ending so if you want to check what happened over here at the starting position it will be look like this one at the ending position it will be look like this one 
so moving to another step number four create on swipe on image filter view so just i am going to this one so click on this image or arrow key and click on this one swipe handler so start to start i want to make it to drag to right and uh, anchor side is also at the right and this time want to implement with img photo this time clicking and and i want to also change the time to 1500 okay so it's okay with all the activities step number four is over so check first transition on the avd so just i implement this one and press shift f10 so our first transition is ready if you want to check and you can check it out by this way also so it is first transition is ready so i think our installing the app will be on the screen very by this way see this one so if i click by this way it will increase the size and size is increase and if it is on the left side you swipe then smaller the size so our first transition is ready and i want to implement just on click on the image filter view so going to move to step number five inside this one we are going to set the another constraint which is named with the end two so let's see and look it out by this way so make sure your total concentration on this one so just i am going to control c this constraint set and control c and just i am paste it below that side so just i am making to this one and just i give the change the name to end two i only want to deal with image img photo i don't want to deal with this one so i just i replace this one with 400 d density pixel and 400 at this level also and i want to set top to top of parent means in the middle of the size so that's why top to top of parent and i want to check it with left to left of parent okay so it's okay from my side so it's a uh, end two and this step is ready step number five and step number six is we need to set at the step number six six we create another transition from start to end two so it is based on on click so i will do it on programming side means right uh, by the return of the code so just i am copy this one control c and paste it at the over here just i am checking with and two with the same size if you want to create okay and just i press with on click so inside on click just we need to make this one so target id target id will be img photo so our another this is another transition so just uh, you check that second transition so just time control shift s okay control shift and slash to comment this one so our second transition is also ready so just i press shift f10 so our both of the transitions are ready so let's press run button and our output will be ready sure so gradle invocation is finished and our activity is right now so first it was this one and now if you click on it and very nice click again and our as per the commitment our final output is ready so on swipe on this image view and on click on this same view or same image view so you can replace by this button or text view or anything else so multiple transitions in one motion scene you can implement with your own logic you are liberate with your mind so just whatever the commitment on swipe and on click with the final view just uh, i going to check it by this way so you can enlarge this button and click on it and swipe by this way on swipe 
and on click very nice so i am happy with this practical motion animation on swipe and on click on same view using motion layout so if you want to create show path also so just uh, you have to check it by this way going to code and uh, this time click over here and show path and by default it is false so just i press shift f10 we visualize the path by this way so see this one this is also one another alternate if you want to show the path then uh, see this one so this is the path you can see this one if you click it another path you can check it out so it is extra knowledge so it is also solution of how to implement multiple transition in one motion scene how to create multiple constraint sets in one motion scene how to deal with image filter view how to convert con constraint layout to motion layout and which dependency we need to include to create motion layout for more update regarding android studio 4.0 subscribe this channel and share it with your friends so completed motion animation on swipe and on click on the same view using motion layout with multiple transition in same motion scene so there are six steps and thanks for watching this one so please subscribe this channel like it and share with your friends thank you thank you very much